So, in this video, I'm going to be showing an um, a operating system that I made all by myself. I mean, I used Ubuntu 20.04, the desktopify version, and I modified it to look like um, Mac OS Catalina. So, it's still a beginning. I'm going to be doing some updates, and maybe I might um, try on XUbuntu instead of Ubuntu or um, Raspberry Pi OS. So, if you guys would like me to do any of these updates, please tell me in the description. Or if you, or if you would like a Windows look or a, like Windows XP 95, whatever kind of look you would like, please tell me and I will try to do it. Or what operating system you would like it to be based on, please tell me. So, to set it up, I just made this mega link. You, um, it will be in the description. So, just go, you hit download. And then you just download it. And once it's done, so I'm I already downloaded it, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop it. And then you need to open up um, Balena Etcher. You need to have an SD card for this. Um, flash from file. And then you look right here, Apple Pie OS. You don't need to unzip it because it's a zip, so it doesn't matter. Just um, use the zip. Don't unzip it. Then get your SD card. I don't have one plugged in right now because I already flashed it. Then hit flash and boot it up. It should resize um, your root folder automatically, but if it doesn't, I installed Gpart in there for you so you can um, do it manually. I have another video about how to do it. You can watch that video. So, yeah, so now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I booted it up. When it boots up, I turned off the password so it doesn't ask you for a password. But if you want a password, you can just go open up the settings right here. Um, and the password, by the way, is Apple Pie OS. So um, you can just turn it on right here, but you have to unlock that. So um, I tried to make it look like Mac OS as much as I can could. I mean, I will be doing updates and patches and stuff to make it um, look better and software and stuff. This is 64-bit. If you guys would rather have a 32-bit operating system, please tell me in the comments, um, and I will try to make one for you. So, there's still a lot of updates that need to happen, I mean, and I was going to show something. So, if you open up this Tweaks app right here, um, you need to make it bigger for it to all show. Then go to Appearance, and the icons, I have Catalina icons, but you can change it to Mojave, Mojave if you want to. So, like, I click Mojave, you know? So, as you see now, they're, they're more like circle and stuff. And then if I go back, and I can change it to Mojave CT Classic. And it looks like this now. And, or I can go to Catalina icons. That's what I... The default one is Catalina. but So you guys can change it to however you want. Um, yeah, so that's how you could change it. And then if you just click on that, you can have different desktop things open. Then this has all your apps. Um, we have LibreOffice, which looks like Word, but it's not. We have the Snap Store, so you can install uh, apps from there. It, it actually works pretty well, this um, Ubuntu 20.04 and GNOME. But I think if I try XUbuntu, it will work better, so... I th I'm thinking about moving over there. And then, like I said, I I, I did Gparted. And the password is Apple Pie OS. As you see, mine did expand on first boot. The image is um, with the zip. I mean, without a zip, it's like 7 gigabytes. And my SD card's 15 gigabytes, so it did expand. So we got this home thing right here, and it looks like Finder, all the uh, icons. Then we got Thunderbird Mail, Rhythm Box, LibreOffice, Help, Settings, Trash, um, Firefox. You can install Chromium.
So I did um, add the um, video 3D um, acceleration hardware. So the YouTube video performance should be good. See, this is 4K 60 FPS. See, as you're playing, it's playing, I mean, as you see, it's playing very well, actually. So, the YouTube performance is great on here. So... Yeah. And I, I I added the icons to the left right here. Um so yeah, so if you guys would like me to do more work on this one or move to Xubuntu or Raspberry Pi OS, please tell me in the comments and if you like software for this, I can make a patch. And or if you would like it 32 bit, please tell me. And if you have any problems with this, you can go to that Discord link in the bottom of the description and go and you can write me from there. So, um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you like my video and I hope you subscribe.